Hey, the team kill? What is up, guys? I just wanted to let you guys know the streaming situation since I kind of just stopped streaming on YouTube and a lot of people think I just stopped streaming altogether. But we are currently still streaming every single day, almost every single day, at 1 p.m. EST on kick.com slash Tempest. So if you guys want to watch me live, 1 p.m. EST kick.com slash Tempest. Other than that, that's it, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. What's up, guys? Today I'm doing my favorite off meta build on Yasuo once again. We haven't done this in quite a while, but we're going clips on Yasuo. I found one of my most favorite um, off meta builds. I think it's good, uh, like viable in certain comps. So when you're against like really tanky comps like this one, or against like Cassante, Riven, like they're all gonna build so much armor, right? But they're not gonna build like a shit ton of HP, or at least like not for a while. So I actually really like Eclipse. Just because it gives you like that lethality early, and then it gives you the armor pen scaling. So yeah, and it's very similar to Shield, but it gives you a shield. They got rid of the Omni Vamp on it though. That's the only bad thing. So it is a tiny bit worse, I think. I don't know what they added to it. Was it CDR? I think it was CDR maybe. It was something, but yeah. But obviously we're not gonna fully rush the item. We're gonna go PD or Zeal, Berserker Zeal, and then go to Clip. So. So we're gonna say Cassante. I actually don't think this matchup's too bad. Right? I don't really have much experience, but I'm pretty sure the champ's early game is kind of cheeks, from what I remember. And he's only got nerfed, so like I am not scared of you right now. Oh, ideally we hit that Q. Really good trade for us though. He only has one potion too. It's these shields. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, we got the healing. No, I think it's nice. Yeah, again, like that champ's early game is kind of cheeks. Dude, I love playing Yasuo. I can't wait for the buffs, too. He's actually gonna be like unbeatable in lane. Like, he already feels like he's unbeatable in lane. In some most champs. Like, obviously, there's like the Renekton lane, Pantheon lane. I mean, that's pretty severe. But yeah, the only thing I'm very scared about for us Yasuo veins is that when he gets buffed, Probably the ban rate is gonna go off the fucking chains, like, it's gonna be scary, man. That's the bad thing, like, you're always excited when your champ gets buffed, but at the same time you need to think about, oh, wait a minute, do we even get to play the champ anymore, so. We'll see. Hopefully the pick rate, or the ban rate doesn't get too high. Rage. I wouldn't really blame people if they are banning him a lot, because, I mean, that's pretty unfun to burst. <clears throat> like, if I had to pick between laning against Ion or Yasuo, I mean, very obvious. I didn't queue up, uh, or uh, level up Windwall here, so I don't really want to take a trade. I'm gonna take a short cloak trades, if anything. Yeah, the only way I could throw this lead is if I just go through all these minions. Also slow pushing into me, so I want the lane to just stay here. Barely. Nice. Very good gank. I think that was pretty... He should never die there. All he has to do is W away, but whatever. He's feeling himself. Yeah, again, we're going Berserkers into Zeal into Eclipse. I don't think I've ever really had a bad time against a Cassante. Only against this one guy in NA. I forgot what his name is. 
But he's like a Cassante main, and you know like if someone's main Cassante, then they, they mean business. I think that he's the only Cassante main like ever. <laughs> or one trick at least, not main. But yeah, that guy's Cassante is... I don't know, bro. He feels unbeatable. Yeah, if you're ever against this lane, just make sure to always like realize that his early game, very bad. And if you're just like going even with him early, you're gonna lose. So after he gets level 6, I think he kind of shocks you, if you don't believe. Oh my god, that made it. Maybe I could have went a little bit more ham there, but if I get by the least Sin I'd just die. Pretty risky, I feel. I hunger for discord. My just slow push Sin, get ulti and probably kill him. How's he back? I mean, I'll let him back. He actually- why would he back here? I think he's scared of uh, getting dove. Yeah, he's just gonna let Lee Sin. I was thinking about ulting, honestly. Ah, that's probably not the play. Anytime I see a Riven lane, I just assume the Riven's always gonna win. That champ go crazy. I mean, I don't think that champ's OP, it's just like anyone... It's kinda like Yasuo, right? Like, if someone's playing Riven or Yasuo, they're usually a one-trick. They're usually gonna pop off. Usually. Not always. I'm trolling. Oh, I'm trolling. I am the worst player in the world. Bro. Oh, how's that? You know that we ignore that. <clears throat> See, those are the times where I swear to god, airblading is like not the play. Because like, I mean, he still should have died. But the airblade like made me position in such a shit spot. Well, I guess that's not really the airblade's fault. Like, I don't know. Man. We're just looking for an excuse. Okay, we already have a big enough lead. It's not really going to matter at this point. Unity is another word. Another champ we don't see lose lane very often, the Draven. Oh my god, he's 6 7 is dead. Hold that one. That looks so weird. Huge zeal gap. Yeah, if you guys have been watching my stream, you know that I don't really like zeal anymore, but obviously, if we're gonna go like an off meta build that doesn't have attack speed early in it, we're gonna have to. The Zeal Rush. Yeah, I'm not really the biggest fan of Zeal anymore. I know Zuko doesn't not like it either. P Zang always goes it, of course, but I don't know. It doesn't feel too good. If you guys still like it, like it feels smooth to play, so if you like it, you may as well just keep using it. But yeah, personally, I don't really like it too much anymore. So it feels like hmm, I don't know. Feels like it's too much money. It's like three kills. More than three kills of money. What's going on that? And delaying your showbo so hard. Seems a bit awkward in my opinion. Unless you're getting like a massive lead from it. Which I guess in lower elos it would be good for that because people won't like... Um... People will like let you just kill them and like they won't realize. But uh, yeah, in higher elos I just feel like a lot of people just play on tower and then... Kinda goes to waste. And then you're always an item behind. What is this man doing? Oh, 
He may be a bit tilted. A tad. Also, the early game of having a zeal plus a jerk is kind of crazy. And if you're wondering what we go after the eclipse, we're gonna go um, eclipse into infinity edge. Gonna get there. This game is kind of looking like a stop though. So tilted. Bro, what are my natos right now? I'm not really expecting him to juke because I feel like he's like running it, but then he's like only half running it. I don't know. What the fuck? It's not even warding? It's too bad. Not quite bad enough for that though. <laughs> also, if you really like snowball -y builds, this is definitely a super snowball build. Just because you're going Zeal and the Dirk, you're not really- you're just getting components, right? Basically, you're being as strong as you can with each uh, base. A firestorm is coming. Very fun build though. Kinda sad they got rid of the Omni Vamp from it though. Out of importance. I don't even think they give it more lethality, did they? They just gave it like CBR or something. I don't forget, but. He's had enough of that. We have to. Oh wait, no, they lowered the cooldown of it, didn't they? Dude, the cooldown is so low. What the fuck? Seems insane. Yeah, it's like think of this as like a shield mode that has a like, four second cooldown. Is it four or is it six? I think it's six. Six? Is that the no? That's a percent. The light will fall. My blind. Oh yeah, six seconds. Yeah, six second cooldown for that much damage and a shield. Yeah, so it's a shield bow on a six second cooldown. Obviously, it's like not as big as a shield or anything, but. If you want a more aggressive option that's still defensive, definitely try out this build. Nice. You be in the winner's queue. A super snowball evolved. I know when I did this build in the past and people want to go do it, they really liked it. So yeah, if you guys haven't tried this build, definitely try it out. But yeah, my favorite off meta build. If you're bored, just going shield bow every single game. Oh my god, he wants blood. Dead inside. So we would have just procked it three times right there. Three times in less than 20 seconds. That's pretty insane. I'm pretty sure it used to be higher. That feels really low. God damn. Kill him! <laughs> we just proc'd a twice there too. 
It's only blocked iron damage, but to be fair, we're not really taking damage. I think the best thing about it is getting the Art Event too. Art Event feels so good, it's so hard to get on this gem, because we're, we're not going to build like Lord Dom or anything. Okay, the team kill? Holy... Eclipse? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, shield will probably do the same. Unless we got two shields there, which I think we did. It blocked over 200 damage there. Yeah, again, it's a shield bow with no cooldown. Power shield. Oh my god, this guy's hungry for me. I mean, if he doesn't lay in Q, I think I'm chilling. Oh no, there's a tower here. Uh oh. <laughs> I'll be so tilted. <laughs> I feel like all he had to do was kick me there and then Q, but you know, don't tell him. Yo, my Q. Broken. Uh, we can get a brace off. We have 5,000 gold. Yeah, again, the end of this build, the IE second, and then probably you could just go opt into either Bloodthirster, if you're super giga chat, or if they have a lot of AD like this game. Like this game, Death Dance, I play ideal, but you know, BT is just more fun. And they're nerfing Death Dance this patch, sadly. I mean, you get more CDR, but I don't think we really care about that, so. Unfortunate. Well, ideally, I think you would just go BT. Just because this build doesn't give you only death anymore. I'm coming! Don't end the game without me. You'd be in the picture. Yeah, again, my favorite off meta builds for sure on Yasuo. So the other ones are just like. Not really viable, but this one's actually like completely viable, so uh, definitely test it out and let me know in the comments how you guys like it. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Let me know other off minute builds or whatever you want. Want me to do in future videos. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.